I don't want to see it. It's horrible. I promise it's safe to look, Annie. Looking can't hurt you. Not anymore. I'm right here. Oh, no. No, 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 no. What do you see? Tori. It's me, Annie. Tori, please wake up. Her face is all bloody. She isn't moving. She's dead. Can you hear me? You're doing so well, honey. You're so brave. Listen, you've gone this far. Go the rest of the way. I'm trying to wake up Tori. But she's gone. She's dead. The doll. You see a doll? Tell me about it. She's lying on her side. In a white, ruffled dress. She's pretty. I like her. Is she yours? I don't know. Somebody smashed the side of her face. It's all caved in. Do you know who smashed the doll? Tori gave me a doll for my birthday. But then she, then she wanted it back. And I, I wouldn't give Tori back the doll. What happened? What did you see? A, a bat. A baseball bat. Annie, don't be afraid. You're gonna be all right, I promise. Did I really kill a little girl for a doll? Was I really that twisted? Hey, how is the little fella? He's holding his own. Well, sure he is. He's your son, isn't he? Never gives up, never will. Mert and me, we were tighter than two peas. She was crazy about you, but you know that. Well, that went both ways. I got a feeling she's working her magic from the great beyond. If anyone could. Yeah, she had some pretty powerful mojo. And she could also see the good in the bad. You know, like this little sick fella here. His mom and pop are praying something fierce. Maybe that'll bring his parents back together. But Mert was smooth. I don't have that gift. I'm just going to say it straight out. You want Kendall back, don't you? Hey. Hey. Hey, you. How's my spiky? How's my big boy? Give me a kiss right now. Oh, that was good. That was good. He, he didn't uh, sleep great last night, so he's a little droopy, but... Oh, well. How is... How is Ian? No better, no worse. You gotta be exhausted, huh? Yeah, yeah, we're, we're running on fumes. What are you doing crazy What's today? Right? The blocks, come on. Hey. You okay? Why are we even here? I, I've never been down here, and this isn't like my cellar at home. It must be more like your cellar at home than your room upstairs, no? In the darkness, the smell. Doesn't anything remind you? I, well, I've always hated basements, and I never knew why until now. So take your time. Hey, have a look around. See if anything reminds you. See this room underneath the stairs for a seven-year-old to hide. Tori's not here anymore. 
where he's gone. I don't understand. She was right here, and now she's not. Annie, come on. I've got your doll. Don't you want to play with it? She wanted to give it back to me. Why would I want to hurt her? Brian, we're fine. Honestly, I am 90% about Ian right now, and the rest that I have left is on Spike. I totally, totally get that. This is the best I can do until Ian is well. Of course it is. I, 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 I understand that. I just want to make sure that we're cool. You know, with all that's going on, I want to make sure that, you know, I'm here for you, and, and that I hope you would, you would tell me if anything's changed between us. Ian is alive. So what I want is for him to pull out of this crisis and heal. Everything else is going to be on hold. Well, on hold is better than finished. On hold means there's still a chance. There's a crack in the door. You keep an open mind about Kendall. Don't close a book on her yet. Is that the advice you'd give her to? She bet you first chance I get. I know what Mert knew and what Erica understands. You and Kendall are a matched set. Everything has changed, Ryan. I mean, Ian is hanging by a thread, and my whole world is turned upside down again. I know this. I know. And the last thing that you need from anybody is pressure, okay? You know, you make me happy. I'm sure it's hard to be happy right now with Ian the way he is. I know that. So I'm going to step back. Okay. This whole stepping back thing, how will that work? Well, for me, it means I'm going to spend more time with, uh, with Emma and Spike. And for you, I'm going to give you some space so you can spend more time with Ian. Of course, that also means you're going to be spending more time with Zach. Yeah, well, Zach belongs with his son. Of course he does. Of course he does. And I would be a jerk. Anybody would be a jerk to, to lay into Ian's father right now with what you guys are going through. I know that. Yeah, you know what? You're, you're, you're very far from a jerk. Trust me. You are pretty damn wonderful. It's nice to be reminded of that. Okay, we gotta go. Okay. Spikester, Spikester. Spike, Master Flex. Say bye to Daddy. I'm going. I love say you. Say bye to Daddy. I love you. Go with Jimmy, your mommy. I'll see you soon, Spike. Wow, wow. How'd you get so heavy? <laughs> I know, How'd right? you get so heavy? Yeah. Um, yeah, you'll probably see us uh, sooner rather than later. Don't me. Don't hurt me. I am forgetting something major. <laughs> Don't worry, it'll be here when you bring my little man back. I can't stay away. There's something. I need to pull through this. I need to come home. Spike. Your mom and me. It's gonna be family again. It's gonna be all right. Don't you worry about Ian, okay? I know that little boy who is so strong. He's, pr he's probably gonna be standing up in his crib when you get back to the hospital asking for an ice cream cone. I love you. I mean, I really, really love you. You don't have to say that. I don't know why I've never said it before. Well, I won't, um, I won't hold you to it. You can. Okay, Spikey, we're really going this time, I promise you. <laughs> Come on, let's... Yeah, that's a pretty cool toy, but we are out of here. He just found the vibrating button on that truck. I think it's going to be good to get the <laughs> yeah. on The doll is a clue. It means something. I mean, not what you thought, but something else. 
I need you to imagine yourself back in the basement. Focus on the doll in the white ruffled dress. It was beautiful. My best present. And Tori was my very best friend. I loved Tori. And I loved the doll. What happened? What did you see? Somebody else was there. Tori and I, we weren't alone. I want to be this baby's...